Well, I was first cyberbullied and trolled on the internet about four years ago. That's where it all started. And I started the campaign in April this year because of the bullying. And I just wanted something to be done and some changes to be made. It affected me really bad being bullied online. You know, it's with you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's intrusive. It's always with you. You, can, you cannot escape from it. It's just, it's worse than being, you know, being physically bullied. You know, you've just been, it's, it's there constantly, every day. You, there's no escape from it. Having autism and being cyberbullied is completely different to somebody who isn't on the spectrum. Uh, when I got the cyberbullying, still have the cyberbullying today, it, it's with you 24-7. Uh, there's no escape from it. Uh, myself, because I'm autistic, I take things very literally. And when I even received the death threat, I, you know, couldn't even venture out of the house. If it was somebody who wasn't autistic and received a death threat, they would have different coping mechanisms how to deal with that threat. But when somebody's on the spectrum like myself, we take it very literally and, you know, it affects us, it affects our anxiety, our emotions, uh, it affects the way we live daily. I think currently in the UK and worldwide as a whole, uh, cyberbullying is so, you know, out there at the moment. You know, we're in the 21st century and you would really think that, uh, you know, local enforcement agencies, the police, you know, the FBI and people are, are would be putting better secure systems in place and protecting people who are vulnerable. Uh, but simply, it's not happening. Uh, we need laws in place. We need tough laws. We need cyberbullying legislations. We need prosecutions to take place. We need uh, prosecutions where people who do cyberbully get prosecuted as a criminal offence, because it is criminal. It's criminal activity. We also need... Uh, social media platforms to put better policies in place, better reporting systems, and just to make the place, you know, throughout on the internet a more safe place, a more better environment so people can enjoy social media rather than going online and fear what's going to happen next. I fear for people who are vulnerable, people with learning disabilities, People who have autism who get cyberbullied, you know, you know, some people, you know, were on the spectrum are very literal, and sadly could end up taking their own lives. We hear it all the time where people are being bullied, and you know, young teenagers uh, commit suicide, hang themselves. You know, this is real. You know, it's not a made-up story. You know, and we need tougher laws to to you know to to change the current culture on cyberbullying the trolls who have been trolling me i've had lots of things i've had impersonation people cloning my profile and pretending to be me i've had you know hatred messages uh, about myself and you know some of these trolls who hide behind a computer who are totally anonymous uh, you don't know who they are and I just can't understand why they do it, you know, why they, you know, pick on people who are vulnerable and people pick on people who are on the spectrum. Uh, I really just can't understand why they do this and, you know, the mannerisms and the way they behave and they, the way they act and bully people. Uh, they obviously feed off it somehow and I think... I think one of the key important messages uh, I need to mention is that, you know, is not to feed the trolls, you know, don't give them any, you know, messages back, don't send them messages back. The way I feel about trolls, they, they, I don't know, they just, they, I would say most of them are very insecure, you know, very, probably have very, uh, lack of self-confidence, self, lack of self-esteem and, you know, probably they've got more time on their hands to 
you know, to bully people and, you know, they feed off it. And, you know, when, when people are getting cyber bullied and trolled, you know, and they are acting anonymously, you know, some of my trolls, I actually know who they are. And, you know, uh, some of them actually display their names on their, on their profiles. And I think these type, type of people who are not hiding behind a screen, who are being quite open to who they are, need to be prosecuted. And, you know, they, they need, uh, you know, a prosecution to take place because this, you know, it's criminal activity, you know, it shouldn't be happening. You know, if we look at things like the Telecommunications Act, the Harassment Act, if people are bullying, you know, there are strong, uh, stringent laws in the UK where people can, you know, uh, be prosecuted for harassment. So if we can do this, you know, if somebody is harassing somebody just by verbal communication, you know, they, they, they get prosecuted under the Harassment Act. So if it's through the computers, through cyber technology, surely, you know, the same prosecution should be taking place there. Thank you.